Okay, so a little while ago, Redfall had an update that added 60 FPS onto the Xbox Series X. It was welcome, it was needed. Then Redfall came out with update three, which added a little bit more to the game. There you go, it's on the screen right now. Introduces an arsenal of new weapons, UV powered sniper rifle called the Basilisk, as well as improvements and blah, 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 blah. But it hasn't had a meaningful content update, which is what it desperately, desperately needs. As you say, I've put a little bit of time into this. I'm nearly four and a half hours in, which is insane. But let's stop blabbering on and jump into the game and talk about what this game could be and how it is so close. It is so close to being an actual video game. So straight away, the game feels, oh, this does not, what is going on? Something's wrong. Something's very wrong. Graphics modes on quality. No. <laughs> no. As my my settings must have reset themselves somewhere along the line there. So we're going to go performance. Also, motion blur. No. Off. Okay, that feels a whole lot better. Good lord. Why? <laughs> if those are default settings, why are those default settings? That does not... It boggles my mind. No one wants to play like that. I don't really have a, a plan for this video. We're just going to run around and it's the classic test to see if more has been put into the game or not. I can hear a vampire, but I can't see a vampire. So that must be him down there. Yeah, here we go. All right, straight up. Let's just get into it. Oh, look, they're actually fighting each other. Okay, so we've had one encounter. A Here's another one. Looks like vampires versing Bellwether again. Sure. And just like that, encounter is done. I suppose I can't really sit there and say there haven't been encounters straight away, but there has to be something more than that. I can't just, like, why is it only one bellwether soldier taking on one vampire? Why why isn't it a group of bellwethers taking on a vampire? That just... Okay, so there's a few... There's Is this just one more? Is this... Okay, so this is a group of them. It definitely seems like the density of the world has been increased for sure that was three encounters in you know i want to say about 30 seconds of travel so it looks like there has been some improvements for sure i you can't sit there and say <laughs> that there hasn't been i'm not saying that the game is oh hooray it's fixed now i'm not saying that but there are definite improvements to how the game usually functions okay so it's already evident that Density has been fixed, okay? I will repeat that again. Density seems to have been fixed for the most part. But density does not equal good. Just because there's more things to shoot does not mean that the game is fundamentally better. See this? There's a bit of there's a bit of <laughs> there's some high stakes, pardon the pun. It's not like this was a walk in the park. I've taken a bit of a beating. And we survived an absolute onslaught. What is this? A container? Okay, see, now this is something new. I have not seen this. I haven't come across this yet. Vampire blood. Improve emergency healing rate to 60% faster. Oh, here we go. I've already got one on. Heal with medical supplies for an additional 15%. Increase emergency healing health threshold by 12. So, it looks like Bloodstained Watch is going to be better than the Vampire Blood. So, we're just going to salvage that one out. Now, I do believe I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Can we... Is there a way to check that? Difficulty midnight. Yeah, midnight's the hardest difficulty. Like, it's not a walk in the park. At least that that encounter wasn't. But it's not overly difficult either. Now, another thing. The next, the next part that I want to bring up is the actual gunplay itself and the movement. I'm not going to lie. It feels extremely satisfying. It really, really does feel satisfying. 
when the game first launched on Xbox, uh, the 30 FPS and everything, it made the game just feel clunky and dog shit. Some 30 FPS games can pull it off and not feel like complete garbage. Starfield, for example, which is not a great comparison, I understand. But Starfield, for example, doesn't feel like absolute trash. This game did. Right now, this game's feeling good. It almost, okay, I don't want to say it's as fluid I don't want to say that it is even in the same ballpark, but it almost feels like Doom uh, or Destiny even. The gun, the gunplay feels good. Now, I understand that's a pretty big claim that the, the, the gunplay is, you know, akin to Doom or Destiny. If you doubt these words and you have Game Pass, just re-download the game and give it a shot for just a couple of minutes. You don't even have to really play it for that long. The game does, it, like, it does feel good. You're able to just decimate enemies. I'm not sure if it was in at launch, but there's a slide, which, uh, you've got to like a slide, right? You can't, you can't turn your nose up at that. I, it says something when I don't know if that was in the core game or not. It's really, that sums up the Redfall experience, I suppose. Density increased. Gunplay, movement, it feels good. What else does this game need? A story, a good story. Unfortunately, what is going on here? That's a translocator, that's just simply not gonna work. What was that? I'm not really sure it nearly killed me there. That was kind of, that was almost a rough patch. What was I saying? The story. Obviously, that is a much, that is a taller order to fix. Very difficult to fix. It's not the game's strong suit. In fact, not much is a strong suit when it comes to Redfall. However, the story is very lackluster. We all know the memes about the PowerPoint slideshow presentations for cutscenes. Perhaps down the line, and this is, this is, you know, this is just speculation. If they did happen to release story content, maybe they could patch up. <laughs> it's a hell of a maybe. Maybe they could patch up the mistakes of the campaign. I actually, who knows? The campaign might pick up. I, like everyone else, never really got too far into it. Hell, I hear there's a second area. Haven't even come close to making it to the second area. And I think those are kind of the core loops that the game needs is density, things to shoot, things to engage with, etc, etc. The gameplay, the gunplay has to be fluid. It's got to be good, man. It can't, it cannot, it has no room to feel like shit. And, you know, to, to me, this doesn't feel like shit. This actually feels satisfying when you just start pinging heads and dropping them. It, it does. I... I'm not going to lie about it. This game is a lot of things, but the gameplay is actually kind of satisfying. And it needs a story that will keep you engaged. That's where the fall down is. That really is where the fall down is. So you've got all these things in the mix. How the hell do you even go about fixing this? With no meaningful content updates, I really hope that they are looking at ways to improve the game or draw people in or keep people engaged with it. Because right now, just running around and doing all this, I've done it all. I've pretty much seen it all. It's been 10 minutes. What they're going to have to do is add a, a game mode. They're going to have to add something to this game to make it a game because right now it isn't a game yeah right now this is not a it's not a game it's it is the shell <laughs> it is the shell of a game now i'm not saying that i have all the answers i'm not saying that i know how to fix this because i don't it couldn't hurt if they put in some kind of rogue roguelike roguelite mode where it's like a it's a it's a map crawl or something and the further you get through the map more more gear you get better weapons you get or something like that that really could not hurt that couldn't hurt if implemented correctly a form of 
Destiny style gameplay where it's just it's a big server drop in drop out and public players can just get together and do events and stuff like that. I'm not sure how difficult that is to implement into this and I know that that requires lots of rebalancing you know everyone will have the same abilities and rah 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 rah. God damn look at them all out there. There's no way that missed. As I was saying, it couldn't hurt for them to experiment and try something. Like, I just... The lack of experimentation. I'm not saying it's easy to put all this stuff in the game, by the way. I'm, I just want to, you know, really reiterate that. I understand that game development is <laughs> not simple. It's not even close to being simple. But I really think they have to implement some something in. You can't just leave it. You can't just leave the core here. You're going to have to add something. Uh you know, social abilities to the game, uh, you know, a dungeon crawling, map crawling part to the game, something, I'm, those two are just off the top of my head. As I'm sitting down and editing this now, I forgot to mention that it could not hurt for them to put in a horde mode from Gears of War, something like that, or Firefight from Halo, anything, like anything, man, please, like, yeah. But they are so close to having a game. Do you know how funny that is to have a game that isn't a game, but being so close to fundamentally being a game is just such a weird purgatory to be in. So they're either going to support the game and they're going to they're gonna put their hearts into it. But if they don't do it meaningfully, if they don't get in there and really try and change things up, then I really do think it's just gonna be it's just gonna be an absolute waste of time even even trying to to fix this mess. Like it, increasing density and putting in 60 frames a second and all that. It's nice it should have been there at start kind of thing, but it wasn't. It is what it is. All that stuff is welcome. See what I'm doing right now? Just mowing down all these enemies. It's fun. It feels good. It feels satisfying. It feels super good to be doing. And I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to say that this is me trying to convince people that this game is worth playing. It's not. You can get all of this satisfying gunplay from different games. Like I said, Destiny, Doom. You can. You can get all of this in a different way, in a better way. But what I am saying is that this game is so close to being something. So to end this video off, it'll be very interesting to see how this game progresses into the future, whether it will be abandoned. I know that Pete Hines has said that they are looking to, you know, flesh the game out and continue with their plans of it being a 10 year game or whatever. But at the end of the day, if it's not worth doing and you're not doing the right things, there's no real point. It just seems like a waste of a waste of time and energy to everyone involved. So I suppose that's where we're going to leave this. Redfall is so close to being a full video game. It's more like a tech demo or a proof of concept at this point and it just needs some serious love and time to really come into being a full-blown video game. Whether it achieves that or not, only time will tell. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, I know you probably watched this and gone, yuck, Redfall. This dude's only talk this dude's talking a little positively about it. But if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. They just got absolutely mowed down. And if you're interested in checking out if the game does feel better or not, it's free on Game Pass. Nothing's, nothing's really stopping you from checking it out for yourself. Maybe you will become a little bit optimistic about the future of this game. 
so yeah thank you for watching